it is too nice outside today not to be outside working so we bought some things for the chicken coop that we're going to take advantage of this <laughs> it's locked we're going to take advantage of this good weather and we're going to bring some things up to the coop one of them new feeder check it out bag of oyster shells is no punk, I'll tell you that right now. So if anybody has seen this in the previous videos, what do I have in the back of my truck? Let me explain. It is a collapsible pallet that we can store feed into. I picked it up for about 20 bucks, comes with a lid. It collapses down so when I don't need it, I can get rid of it and I can store it away. The downside is it weighs about 75 pounds. So she's not one easy to move. So, but that's what we plan on storing our goat feed in and any other feed we might, I might get a couple more of these. The problem is if you store too much feed during the months where it starts getting hot, your feed's gonna ferment. And that's one thing I wanna try to avoid, but check this out. This is what I picked up today at the little feed store, a little chicken feeder. Now the reason why I got this one, the traditional feeder that we have, it lays on the ground. We could elevate it. We try to put blocks on it, but they always kick out the chicken feed. It makes a huge mess. And then they're roosting on top of it, crapping on it and pooping on it and stuff. So what we want to do, we want to be able to keep that feed nice and clean. We'll drop it in here leave it outside they can do whatever they want with it then because right now i put a feed tray on top of the bucket try to keep it dry but they usually jump on it knock it down and then use it as a roof so we're going to get this up there today oh man another great buy that we that we got was this solar light he's going to like this yep so this is going to turn on Motion activated, turn on at night, and it's solar powered. Paid about 20 bucks for it on the on the bargain bin. We'll see if it works or not. If not, I'm out $20. Ugh. It is a terrible muddy mess, but it's necessary to get the good weather to come. Release the hounds, Wyatt. <laughs> Getting that yummy, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> it's no joke it is severely caking up around here it's making it extremely difficult to get around but we got a new feeder bud we did yep we got a new feeder and we're gonna install it and get rid of the one there and we're gonna fill up the other barrel with the rest of this food so let's get it going I don't think the chickens are too happy about me almost killing them. <laughs> it's hot, boys. Yeah. It is not 
a good day to be driving the UTV around. I pretty much just tore up my whole yard. It is just an absolute muddy mess. Oh my gosh, it's sliding everywhere and I might just call it quits. Oh well, it'll be a goat enclosure here soon anyway, so. What do you think, bud? That rooster been tearing up your feathers? Well, at least the chickens like it. They like getting out in this warm weather. Can't say this warm weather's doing us any good. Pretty much tore up my whole trail coming up here. Even more reason why I need to get rocking animals to pack this stuff down it's just so it's like a sponge it's so squishy I'm heavier, right all right bud grab your light in the in the drill and we'll get this thing installed all right so a little motion activated it's got a brightness a timer and a sensor sensitivity waterproof outdoor I don't think I have to remove the batteries it's pretty much sealed but there it is. We're gonna see if this thing works. We'll get it installed right now. Oh, great. Probably bought a, brought a dead drill with me. Yep. Brought a dead drill with me, guys. I even did the, before I went, got started. Man, I hate this netting. I can't wait to figure out a permanent solution. God, I hate this. Man, it's actually hot enough to sweat out here. <laughs> I sweat walking upstairs, so that's not saying much. Picking up that dirty chicken. I'm already dirty. You already dirty? Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy. He's a big bird. <laughs> Our birds eat well. Yes, they do. These buff Overtons are my favorite, favorite chicken. They are the most docile chicken ever. Oh man. What a mess. Well, I'll tell you what, this thing does come with plenty of extra cord, that's for sure. Everybody knows that little trick where you, ah, uh, cockaburs. <coughs> Everybody knows that little trick when you get, you're down to your last little juice on number two, you switch it down to number one, you crank it down a little bit more for a little bit of an ugga ugga. Last ditch effort. Completely dead battery, perfectly fine now. The excess cord, wrap around there. Save for later. The jungle, jungle birds is what they are. They love being in the forest, guys. They just love being in the forest. They love scratching underneath all these leaves. Hiding underneath these trees. And the problem is, they like to lay their eggs down here too. Yeah, go over there. Yep. Like that guy, that girl, I mean, Right there. She's probably making herself a nice little nest over there. Yeah, we see you. Mm -hmm. We see you, Miss Han. So we got that solar light put up. The only things left to do is wait till it gets dark out to test it. But, man, we got a lot of area here that's pretty soggy. We're gonna really have to wait till this all dries up before we can start driving fence post. Oh, but the big fence. part is measuring that out. No, we're not doing electric fence. Well, we'll, we'll put a hot wire on it, but not. 
We got a pole fence, bud. Now this thing says it'll hold 45 pounds. That'll be interesting to see. What do you think about that, Wyatt? One whole bucket, one whole bag of feed. That's my job a lot easier. It's gonna make his job a lot easier. That's awesome. I say we don't open. I say we don't open these. Still gotta open them. We we'll put them in these cans, bud. Just leave them open. Just pick one up. Dump it in there. Cause this takes a whole bag. You hear this? You hear this, guys? He's got good ideas. Save me a lot more time from going. Can you pick a whole bag up though? Yeah. And pour it in there without spilling it over? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. All right, we'll do it. I don't know if it's all. Pull bag. Grab the other bag. See if we can fit three bags in here. All right, grab the other bag. See if we can fit a bag in here. Ew. Ew. You put your hand in the poo? Yeah. Get the hand of the poo, Dad. I don't know. No, it don't look like you can. I'll just use that one. Yep. Looks like you're gonna have to be scooping just one more bag. Okay. Until awesome. the time comes. See that one, though. So like I said earlier, we like storing our feed in these trash cans, but the bad thing is during the hot months, during the hot months, your feed will start fermenting and it'll start stinking and possibly get your chickens drunk. I, I don't know, <laughs> but these middle cans, they're long lasting, but plastic is going to be a better friend for you. Um, you can tell where the handle goes through here. If you don't silicone those up, you're going to get a lot of water down into your your feed drum. We just put something over it right now because we never got around to siliconing it. But yeah, that's a problem around here. <laughs> now for this grit. So with these laying hens, they don't uh, they don't need grit all the time. They usually find it where they're where they're running around at and pecking. I still got a lot on the ground back over here. Now the thing is. If you feed your chickens layer feed, usually they're not going to need a whole lot of grit. If not, they can find what they need. I feed my chickens a lot of table scraps and they are going to need the grit for that. That grit's good for their seeds and stuff that they chew up if you threw a lot of scratch down. But let me show you. They eat a lot of food from our fridge. What's up girl? You going to kick us out some more chicks or are you going to peck me? She's going to peck me. She's gonna peck me, I just know it. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, you keep in the ow, come on now. It's alright, girl. It's alright. It's alright. Oh ow. It's okay. It's okay. Ouch. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. I absolutely cannot stand chicken netting, guys. Can't stand it. This collects every tree branch, leaf, and everything. But it keeps the hawks out. But man, you can't walk around in this stuff without getting your cat caught on something or leaves hitting you in the head or whatnot. Looks like we're gonna need a new tub. Yeah. Yep. This one's got holes in it. Uh, we like to use an oyster shell. Gives them a good calcium boost and good for their grit so calcium shells and it's a lot cheaper because I think I got a 50 pound bag for like ten dollars so it's cheap we're done now we just gotta get this UTV unstuck because making it down this muddy drive is gonna be a problem I'm gonna set you guys down there and let you get a nice little peek of how what it's gonna take for me to get out of here all right enjoy the show Woo! 
we're coasting. We're coasting. Alright, now we gotta go get this mud off the tires. There's only one way we know how to do that around here. That's by going down the road. Um, yeah, my camera, camera's not so much clean. Yeah. Yep, I got a little mud on me and stuff, but I got these tires cleaned up. Oh, let's kick it out full wheel drive. I'm done. I am done for the day. I have to go clean this camera up. I have to go clean myself up. This camera equipment is trashed. We still gotta go back up there and put those chickens away tonight. That trail is completely destroyed. I should have known better taking that UTV up there, but I had a lot of heavy stuff to get up there. But you know what? That's what that's for. We'll fix it come springtime. Things are just a little soggy right now. We gotta let things dry out firm up before we can get planted but speaking of planting man just ordered my hoss seeds can't wait to try them out you know what i am just kind of behind a little story behind that i'm really tired of buying seeds from the store and not having them germinate or just a bad successful rate on them or they're not resistant to disease and stuff reading their stuff and this heirloom uh seeds and stuff i'm buying we're gonna give it a shot it's the first time doing it here first time for everything so we're gonna give it a shot but that's all i had for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it wasn't much but we had fun doing it even though it may have seemed like we weren't having fun it's always a blast making videos especially when it's 60 degrees out all right i'll see you guys later <music>